Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're doing another animation video and in this video I'm going to explain two principles that you will hear of once you get started in animation, right? So these two principles are called the straight ahead method and the pose to pose method. These two methods are used to construct your animation, if you will, and they each have their pros and cons. So let me explain both to you, right? Okay, now let's say we got this ball sitting on this cube and we want it to basically leap over and land on the other cube, okay? Now, what you can do, and I set up a quick frame here, frame one to 30, right? Or zero to 30, I should say. Yeah, we can do 130, it's fine. So run frame one, and what I'm gonna do is with my sphere selected, I'm gonna hit I on my keyboard for a keyframe. That's frame one, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it to, let's say, I don't know, four, okay? And I'm gonna move this over here and kind of eyeball it and put it up here somewhere. And then we're gonna hit I again. And then I'm gonna move to, let's say, eight. And we'll do that again. We'll go maybe over here and maybe up a little bit. And we're gonna do that again. And then we're gonna go to 12, move it over once again somewhere around here do that one more time then we're gonna go to 16 uh, let's say move it over here and do it again now you already can see what the problem is with this method right if I scrub back you see that it basically has a diagonal line going from here to here right and then it starts to have a curved line so you have very little control over what's going on here. Nevertheless, there are situations where uh, you would use this, right? Let's say I'm just going straight forward like this. You could use that method if you wanted to, right? Now, more, common, uh, more commonly used is the pose to pose method. And it's a lot more common, I would say. And we're gonna get rid of these keyframes and we're gonna start over. So let's go to frame one, got this guy selected. You can hit I on my keyboard. All right, come on. All right, there you go. Now, I know this is, this is my starting point, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go directly to my end point. Frame 16, we're gonna move it over here. The plan is to end up there, right? Okay, so we're gonna hit I again. Yeah, there you go. So I got my starting point on my end point. And right now it's just going straight over. Now I want it to be kind of a, an arched jump, right? So what I can do is I can go halfway to frame eight. And it looks like we need to go a little bit further here. All right, and then go up to about there. And then we're gonna keyframe that. And this is called in-betweening, right? So we got pose to pose and we're doing in-betweening. Now from here, it starts to calculate, okay, if this is my starting point on one and this is my middle point on eight, I need to get there somehow, right? So there's an interpolation going on where it suggests poses to get there. So this is one. So on three, we would be here, right? So I can either just keyframe this or I can adjust it if I want to, right? So let's go to five. And again, we have a position. And then we can go to eight, we can go to let's say 11. And we can go to 13 if we want, 14 maybe, yeah, 14, there you go. So in this scenario, we have a lot more control because we know we're gonna start here, we know we're gonna end here, and we know that our middle point is gonna be up here on this vertical line, okay? And this process is called pose to pose. This is uh, usually uh, applied when working with a character animation and that kind of thing, and uh, yeah, I would say in general, it's more commonly used, right? So yeah, that was the purpose of this video to explain those two methods. Uh, hopefully you learned something today. If you enjoyed the channel, you know what to do and I'll see you guys in the next one, All right? Bye.